prayer are part of immigration protests that took place tonight downtown. They come as ICE agents prepare to round up thousands of undocumented immigrants. Walter Smith Randolph is here now with how one local charity is preparing immigrants for a crackdown. Walter. Good evening, Cami. There is no indication these immigration raids will happen here in the tri-state, but many immigrants here are prepared if Cincinnati comes next on the list. Larry and Kathy Feist are just two of the dozens who showed up to Senator Portman's office Friday evening to protest U.S. immigration policies. I'm just so ashamed that something has to be done. It's just inhumane. And I'm, I'm, we're Americans. We are not inhumane to people. These protesters rallied for an end to U.S. detention camps and child separation at the Mexican border. The protest comes as 10 cities brace for mass arrests starting Sunday. While Cincinnati is not expected to be affected, Catholic Charity CEO Ted Berg says the immigrant community has been preparing. We have a, what is a Know Your Rights seminar and to have an emergency preparation plan in case someone who has, um, yeah, isn't completely documented and gets picked up and put into detention. There might be some children who are U.S. citizens who are left at home. Catholic Charities has also passed out hundreds of these Know Your Rights bilingual cards to prevent unlawful searches and questioning. Berg says it's not about taking a political stance, rather it's about maintaining human dignity. The way people are being treated, put in cages, sleeping on floors, not given basic hygiene needs is, is just unacceptable. Um, that, that's not, not any way anyone should be treated. Back at Senator Portman's office, these protesters hope their chance I just can't tolerate injustice. lead to change. There's plenty of room. We're not full. Fly over this country. We're not full. Um, these people are needed. Senator Portman toured the border today. In these tweets, he said, while there is a crisis at the border, people must be treated humanely. The senator points out he advocated for an additional $4.6 billion in federal funding for humanitarian assistance at the southern border. Kyle. All right, Walter, thank you so much.